My name is Prudence, and life is good. I have two children, a 15-year-old daughter and a 17-year-old son. I have a career I enjoy and a wonderful boyfriend. Love you, that. Love you, too. But things weren't always so good. I got pregnant when I was very young. I had to put my education and my dreams on hold to raise my kids. With my kids nearly grown, I thought I could finally relax. This baby is coming. Oh my God, I'm gonna be a grandmother. Then I learned my daughter is pregnant. He looks like his dad so much. I'm, I'm in my 30s. I, I'm not ready to be a grandma. Makes it a little more real now, huh? I am overwhelmed. And that is how I'm about to become a 30-something grandma. to the hospital with Candace. Ooh, I'm not get... hallucinating. Okay. You're almost there. Okay. Do this. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Keep going. Three. 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 Candace? Yes? Come here for a minute. I want to talk to you. Even though you're in this situation, it doesn't change, you know, the way I feel about you. I respect you as a young lady, and I love you. What I really would like for you to do is finish school more than anything. I don't want to be another statistic, you know. I want, I want you and the baby to come to the graduation and see me walk across the That's stage. That's right. And Just then... like they brought you to my graduation. <laughs> Candace is a typical 15-year-old. She was a straight-A student and she's a good girl. I wish that Candace could just graduate, go off to college, but will that happen? I don't know. Oh, they should, oh. oh yeah, he's moving. That was, oh my God. Um, I do appreciate you, and I do love you, and I do thank you for everything you do for me, because you don't have to do it. I know you do. I love you too. Come here and give me a hug. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're stupid. Hey. 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 Thanks for coming by. No problema. My sister and I are like best friends. And Paulette knows my children better than they know themselves. So what's going on? Well, I was just kind of thinking about everything. And I blame myself for a lot of stuff that's happened with Candace. But I never, ever suspected she was sexually active, uh -huh. ever. I mean, did you suspect just Are a you crazy? little bit? She lies. She always told me she I didn't. I know, but Prudence, after this boy. I know. OK, I, and okay, she's I, okay, outside okay, OK, 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 and... OK. I thought she might be out there doing other things. Like, we, the, the drug thing came up. OK. More than the sex. The sex. I don't know okay. why. You just didn't think. I don't know why. Uh -huh. I mean, I'd mm -hmm. ask her questions. You know, and she just bold faced told me, no, mm. uh, like, uh -huh. no, yuck, and all this kind of stuff. And then you look at your child, right. like, oh, okay, she was telling the truth. And you know what she does? She plays you like a violin. The whole orchestra is out. I know. And that's where I've gone wrong. Mm. I've always believed everything. Mm -hmm. Or even if I didn't believe it, I always let her slip yes. through the cracks Give somewhere. Those, the crack. And if you open that door a little bit, mm -hmm. she will bust it wide open. Right. I've always seen you more as her friend than her mom. And I think Candace treats you more like a friend. Like a friend. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a perfect opportunity for you to go ahead and step right in and now start being the mom. OK. That sounds really good. I mean, we have a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. So are you going to take some time off for work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think kinda... I'm going to take some time off. I have a full-time job. I work with seniors with Alzheimer's and dementia. As a program coordinator, I'm not sure how my work schedule is going to go. It's all kind of up in the air still. I've got to you know, keep that mm -hmm. going and 
pushed the retirement out 18 years. Mm -hmm. Candace, I know. It's, Candy, it's yeah. hard to believe. How did you find out about birth control? I heard about birth control in the doctor's office. I knew about it, but I didn't know exactly what it really would do. Like I was embarrassed to ask about it. I didn't really want anybody to know, you know, I was having sex. Me too. That's how I felt. So that's why I didn't really want to talk to my mom about birth control. It was just too weird. Doing your homework? Yeah. How's it going? It's hard because I'm tired. Telling your parents that you're pregnant at 15 is worse than finding out that you're pregnant at 15. Well, you gotta have it all done before Monday. I don't wanna sound like I'm fussing at you all the time, but once the baby comes, it's gonna be a challenge, Candace. I took her to see her pediatrician for common cold symptoms or flu symptoms. And that's how I found out that she was pregnant. I'm hard on you because I've been there, done that. I know how it feels to have infants and trying to go to school and all that. You don't even have a full-time job. I know what it's like. I was a young single mother. I had a full-time job, pregnant, had an infant, and had homework to do at night. So once I absorbed the shock of her being pregnant, I went crazy. I grounded her from all social activities. I pulled her out of school, and she began independent study at home. And that may sound crazy, but kids are so mean. I didn't want her to have to deal with the pressures of all the children looking at her and staring her down. And my first instinct was just to keep her close, just so she could be safe and just be the mama bear that I am. I had to do what I had to do. I feel like I'm a prisoner in my own home. I lost all my friends, and I spend my days doing school online. My life sucks right now. I know it seems like I'm hard on you, but you know, it's just reality. Being a grandma in my 30s, it's not how I saw my life going. Let me get the door for you. <laughs> Scott is my boyfriend. We've been dating for about three years now. I don't want to drink any uh, alcohol or anything, because if we have to get up and take her to the hospital or I do know. anything. This will be a very time while we're trying to be out, you exactly. know, having a good time. Scott is fantastic. I thought maybe even marriage would be in our near future. And my kids and I moved in with Scott about two years ago. Scott took on two teenagers, but I know he didn't intend on raising a baby. Did you ever think when you met me, it would be this way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was enjoying my life with Scott. So the news of this baby came along, and I'm really kind of nervous. I am. There's things that are going to happen in, in life that you're going to have to say, well, I did everything I could to avoid this, but you know, it is reality. It has happened. We have to you know, move forward from that moment. So. I'm so nervous. I can't wait. I know. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Hello. Hi. This morning, we are headed to see the baby on a 3D ultrasound. Have I had any current pregnancy problems? Um, no. OK. Do you want me to put you as my partner? Sure. And none of this feels real yet. Well, I'm scared. Don't be scared. There he is. Oh, my god. Oh, Look at those lips. Oh <laughs> This is incredible. <laughs> Look at those lips. Yes. This means Hansel. a lot to me because they didn't want him at first. Yeah, oh. I didn't want him at first. It's hard to comprehend it. When I was a teenager, I had an abortion, and I regretted it. I still do. And I, I couldn't let Candace go through that. Whoa, he's <laughs> chunky. <laughs> he's perfect. Handsome. Does oh, he have a name cute. yet? He's cute. His name is Roman. <laughs> Can you believe what you're actually? He looks like his dad so much. Oh, no, no <laughs> he looks like me. Mommy, Those aren't your God. lips. Like, oh. My mom doesn't like my baby's father, but she's going to have to get over it because I want him in my life. Makes it a little more real now, huh? 
Can I like, see his face? I want you to show his stupid daddy in that picture. Can we try to at least make any moment that we have with him a happy moment? We are. We are. We are. But I just want you to know how I feel. I don't like the father of the baby. And frankly, I don't think he should even be a part of Candace's life until she's graduated from high school. I know how you feel. You tell me all the time. And then seeing him, you, you, no matter if he's beautiful or has one lip or two, <laughs> three eyes, it doesn't matter about that. I'm just saying, he's alive. That's a freaking life inside you. Oh my God, that was better than what I thought it was gonna be. Question marks keep spilling out as her, but she, she don't know how to make it better. Who are you texting? The baby's father. I never wanted Candace to be dating in the first place. I mean, she's only 15 years old. You guys are arranging him come into the delivery room or something? I wanted him to come. Why? Um, I mean, what? Why? Just like my dad came, I wanted to come. Your father wasn't there when you were born. I got pregnant when I was young. And Candace's father, he didn't stick around. He said he would at first, but he disappeared. And that's exactly what's gonna happen to Candace. I don't feel comfortable with him being there. He's too young. He does not need to be in your life. You guys have no business texting each other. All he knows is how to have a good time. And look what having a good time, look where it got you. There's no question it's been a rough couple of months. Regardless of how it happened, it's it's happening. This baby is coming, and today we are celebrating her baby shower. Oh, look how tiny! Oh, 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 that's how big you are. Does that make you want to have another one? I am happy. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Does anybody have just one piece of like advice for Stay Candace? Positive. Don't feel like you're in this alone. You, you see your family here. We love you, we're here for you, we're here for your mom and grandma. It's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm thankful to have you guys because you guys were patient with me and I'm thankful for all the support and love. I'm thankful that when you know my mom found out and my grandma, my aunt, these people are my closest support system. They didn't get mad at me, they didn't yell at me. They told me everything was gonna be okay and that they would help me. And I really appreciate you guys, cause if I didn't have you guys. <laughs> it's okay. Aww. It's all right. It's okay. I know. It's all right. We love you. <laughs> Can I sit there? Mm -hmm. Sure. She's still in high school. She's a 10th grader. You know, she can't afford a baby. She doesn't know what to do, so that's where I step in. So in the middle of me being excited and overwhelmed with joy and, oh my God, sometimes reality sets in. You know what we're about. And you're gonna make it, do you understand? It is kind of crazy to think uh, how many years have gone by and we saw each other as friends on and off, and then we ended up going hiking. Well, we're and, supposed yeah. to be hiking, just the, hiking. Hiking, right. And that's how it always starts, right? I think I hiked you up, didn't I? <laughs> I can't believe there's going to be a baby in the house. I don't even know how, what I'm going to do or how I'm going to feel. It's going to be crying at night. It's going to be no sleep. It's going to be just busy, busy, busy. So is this going to put a damper on the relationship? or? What's gonna happen? I mean, be honest. Well, it's on my mind. I don't know what, what's gonna happen. That kind of worries me a little bit. I, I am kind of curious as well, like how will I react to a baby? Is this gonna rip us apart? It could. I mean, I'm not gonna deny that. You're probably saying to yourself, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this. Well, I think we had kind of like already set kind of a path on how you and I were going. And then when this happened, I realized this was gonna change things. 
I'm sorry that it's that, that way, but it is the truth. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm very nervous. Well, yeah. you've been a mother already, twice. So yeah. what's the real concern? I need some time with my cousins tonight because I just feel overwhelmed. Okay, and I know you guys can read me. You know me better than I know myself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just when you think you're at one point in your life and you're getting ready to go on and kind of maybe be happy now, like you're, you know, maybe in a sound relationship finally, you actually can think, then all this comes about and I don't want it. I don't you don't want what? I'm overwhelmed and I really don't feel like dealing with anything. Oh. But I'm to the point where I don't think I want to deal with it. And I'm the one that fought to, to keep this whole thing you <laughs> going. Did. You did. You're just getting hit with all these, mm -hmm. you know, different unexpected things that are mm -hmm. coming up. Then you have Scott and it was a surprise to him and you. And I know that, I know. And I think that's like a lot of it. He didn't sign up for it. He signed up to be with me, to have somebody he could talk to. And, right, right. and you know, I just loved him for him. Mm -hmm. and, um, and now, and he accepted the kids too. Mm -hmm. And it's okay for you to cry. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's it, as mothers, we're always going, going, going. Yeah. And we're always strong for everybody. No, that's We the put problem. everybody before ourselves. The selfish part of me feels like, like, why didn't you just let her just pr pretend like you didn't know it and just let her go on and terminate the pregnancy? You know, why did you, why did you have to fight so because hard? Because that's the mother yeah. that's in you. We don't expect yeah. you to be super mom. No. Not right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I know. just don't feel that right now. Well, of course, I not know. right now. I think I've lost myself. And then we need to do something. We need to bring you out of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Should we toast to motherhood, grandmotherhood? No. Um, Nothing. New life. New beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings. I like new that. New beginnings. New beginnings. Come in. Jayla is a really cool girl. Hi. Hi. She calls me. I trust her. And so she's just a really good friend. How are you? I'm good. That's How good. Are you? Tired. You're tired. It's different. I'm pregnant. And it seems like all of my friends disappeared. Like they were embarrassed when I asked them to hang out. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> His closet. Oh, my mom does all of this. Oh, okay. <laughs> All this stuff with the tags, we'll just, we're gonna wait. I have so many stretch marks on my stomach, like. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, so, and then I see you, and so I'm like, oh, I wish I had my body back, you know? It really takes a toll on me. It's a lot. So how's school going for you? How is it? We're out of football season, right? Yes, football season was actually lit. It was, I went to every game. That's what I miss about going to school. It's like, I have no one to talk to, but my mom, it's sad, because I do miss having a social life. It hurts really bad right there. Really bad. Oh. Candace is starting to have contractions. She has no idea what's about to hit her. She thinks she's gonna have menstrual cramps, but all hell's getting ready to break loose. Oh, it really feels really bad. Oh, Lord, help us. Okay, it's all right, Mom. We're on our way to the hospital with Candace. Hold on, we're almost there. We're almost there, like we're right around the corner, Mom. Okay, don't hallucinate. Ooh, They're gonna not get... hallucinating. Okay. Yeah. okay. Just try to relax now, okay? We're here with you. I know, I know, Mom Bali. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna help you get this outside robe off. Okay. So the doctor can get to your back. It's not gonna hurt no more after this. You can do this. Everyone does this. Everyone gets sure epidural does this, okay? Do. D don't do anything yet. They're probably not going to check her anymore until the morning.
We told her it's not time to push. Tell me what you're feeling, sweetie. Okay. Let's check your cervix and see what's going on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Okay, she's nine and a half. She's getting oh, ready. Great. You're doing wonderful. Let everybody else worry about everything. You worry about you and your baby right now, okay? You got this? Yeah. Are you pushing? Okay. okay. Yes, Mama. Oh, you're so, I am so proud of you. All right, there's a lot going on. You need to focus, okay? Okay. Take a big deep breath in through your nose and blow it out, out through your mouth. Okay. Hold it in and push down, 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 down. That's it, that's it. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yay, Good mama. Good job. We see it there. Oh, my God. You're almost there, OK? Yeah. You can do this. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Deep breath. Right back at it. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. I'm terrified. My baby is actually going to be raising this baby. Oh, I can't believe I'm her grandma now. I don't think the father of the baby should really be in the delivery room. He doesn't deserve to be in the delivery room. <laughs> At that moment, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Look at your twin. Yeah. First thing I tell Eddie, I don't know. He's here. That's all that matters, right? He's here. That baby made it. That should make you proud. I don't know what happened in me. I just changed. I got forgiveness in my heart. He got to be there. And to be honest, he should be here. He is the baby's father. I feel myself falling, wind in my face. I just hope he can step up because now the real work begins. Okay. 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 Where's pass fire? Pass fire alert. There you go. Put on very tight. Okay, Candace. Okay, hold on tight, Candy Ann. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. All right. She had the boy. <laughs> Come on in, Romy. Welcome home. <laughs> Say hello to <laughs> quick grandma. Say hi. Oh. Did you punk it? Oh. Did you punk it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Am I really a grandma? Yes, you you are. That doesn't make a sense. Grandma. Oh. That's that doesn't right. even sound okay, right. Grandma. <laughs> I definitely don't feel like a grandma. Yeah, okay. I'm not ready to be a grandma. I'm trying to raise my children. Parenthood is hard. Why are you getting all worked up? I'm trying to do the best I can. I know I'm 15, and sometimes I make mistakes. I don't know what's wrong with her either, Dr. Roman. But I hate when my mom tries to control every situation. Candace, hurry up, bring the, uh, because he's sucking. Give me that bottle. Okay, first. Candace, it's time for skin to skin. My mom is over the top. She drives me crazy sometimes. Make sure you got his diaper bag and all that. Make sure it's clean. No, not the feet. Eat, do some homework, and then, um, Huh. Mom, I got it. Let me see. Oh, look at he's getting huge, huh? <laughs> and he's all squirmy wormy. So this afternoon, the baby's father didn't do anything. He didn't change a diaper. He didn't feed him. He barely even gave him a pacifier. All he did was stay under a blanket cozy with Candace. That's not what being a father is all about.
the baby's father saying about him? I mean, he was excited at first, but is mm -hmm. that excitement gone or? No, I don't think so. What about the future? I mean, you, yeah. want, you want him to be, you want him to be there with Noah's son? Yeah, I yeah, want him I, to have a relationship with his dad. I don't have one with my dad. Right. I know how it feels to grow up and not have a father, but want one. Why even communicate with him? It's not important. You guys can, look, call me back when I'm 18. Bye. My mom just needs to relax and stop being so mean because I'm trying to give him a chance to be there in the baby's life. But if she keeps treating him the way she does, he's just not going to want to be there ever. And you cannot I, date right now. You know that, right? OK, but no one said anything about dating. We were just talking about him being the baby's father. So where's that coming from, Mom? You and I both know what he's focusing on. And I don't think it's really too much the baby. Didn't you say he just spent a thousand dollars on a new shirt? Yeah, himself. Mm -mm. Who went to go buy wipes and formula this week? Oh, you did. If your parents are giving you a thousand dollars for a shirt, and you know you have a child, and you want to be responsible, and you run all this game into your woman's ear, why not give her ten of those dollars? I know Candace just thinks I'm this big monster, this big beast, you know, on her all the time. But I wish she would understand that I do this because I love her and I care about her and her future. That baby needs to grow up. And if you're still serious like you are now, boy, then you'll be serious when I'm 18 years old. But, okay, but see, you're holding a grudge against him. You do not like him. You do not want him to see Roman. You do not want him to be around Roman, and that's how you really feel. I just can't let this guy turned Candace's life completely upside down. I'm not gonna let it happen. If you wanna survive, you gonna have to get over him real quick. So it's 1 on 1 a.m. and I'm, I'm very tired. The baby just woke up. So now I gotta fix a bottle and I'm exhausted. How long were you in labor? Five hours. Um, after they broke my water, the drugs wore off, and it hurt really, really bad. Mm -hmm. I'm never going through that again. Well, not for a while. So what's going on with his dad? He's flip-floppy. One minute, he wants to be there for him. The next minute, he doesn't. He came over and was helping. And I mean, it was nice for him to watch the baby while I could get some sleep or something. But he told me how he didn't change diapers and he wouldn't change diapers and all this other type of stuff. And I'm like, it's his child as much as it's your child. And I understand he doesn't have a job, but you know, if you want to take the responsibility, get a job and start buying diapers, start doing things, you know? He's hard headed, he doesn't listen, but I know he loves you and loves the baby. In some aspects, I think my mom was right. When he acts the way he does, I have to think about, you know, he is still a child. He's mm -hmm. only a teenager. We're still teenagers. And I want him to be in his life, and I'm not going to ever stop him from being in his life. Mm -hmm. I just don't want him to walk in and out, you know, because I know how it feels. My dad would tell me, I'm coming to get you. I'd wait all day at the doorstep. He never came. I was two years old when my dad left. And so, unfortunately, I don't have a good relationship with him. Hi, Mushtish. Hi, baby boy. I hope me and my baby's father can work everything out and get married. I want a normal family. But I love being a mom. Mm -hmm. You know, he's amazing. What I guess what he was going to ask was, is it possible that you can either have him rescheduled for tomorrow? Can you text him or call him and, and see if tomorrow's a better day for him? Just be like, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow would be better longer. and you could stay longer. He, he, he feels like I'm trying to keep him away from the baby. Just All you have to do is just let him know. Scott said, we have to be here when he comes. Yeah, just call him.
Is she cool? What did he say? Okay. Is he okay? You know, you know they have to be here when you come over. Okay, I'm not gonna argue because Scott didn't know. Scott! Bro, oh, you don't, don't, please don't do that. Please don't do that. She told me to tell you that he said that he didn't know. Can you explain? No, can you not? Mom, I got it. Don't be raising your hand to me like you're gonna hit me. You wanna talk to Scott yourself? Kind That's what you're, you, keep, you keep Just arguing give me the phone. with me. So Just give me the phone. Give the phone to Scott, okay? Yeah, get, and then, and then sure. this done. Can you stop? I don't like the father of the baby, and I don't want him around my child or my grandchild. Listen, if you come over now, you can't. This is what you're gonna have to deal with forever. I don't want this baby n now, but then I, I'll, I want it all the way when it comes. That's it. not fair. And I just thought, hey, that's, that's just straight up wrong. If it wasn't for somebody else trying to save this child's life, he wouldn't have a funky fat chance to even see the t dango baby right now. <laughs> Moron. I'm pissed. I'm sick of this mess. If it looks like I'm crazy and I'm losing it, it's because we all know what a 15-year-old boy is looking for, and we don't need another baby coming. Hey, give me a quick second here. Hold on. Right now, honestly, I'm feeling like I just want to move out and just move away from everybody. The bottom line was I don't have to answer this little pimp squeak. Tomorrow, I told him we all need to You know to what? Goodbye. No. Guys. Because she doesn't have to be mean to me like that. I'm not mean. Here's your baby. You're right. My mom says she's forgiven everything that's happened in the past, but I don't believe that. I'm done with her. I'm done with her and him. And everybody's thinking about themselves, but they're not thinking about what's best for the baby. I'm doing okay. <laughs> My mom is a tell it like it is lady. She will uh, speak her mind and she's very nice and loving, but she will tell you how she feels when she feels it. The thing I want to talk to you about is you got to learn to let Candace handle her own baby. You make it hard for her. You got to back up a little bit. How do you know? You're not there. Oh, I know. Trust me, I know everything. I can tell when I'm over there, and I know I see what's happening. Right. You need to listen. You got a hard head. You don't want to listen because you think you can take on the world, and that's not a good thing. You're not a god, so just back off. She's got to grow up. You got to let them go sometimes. You got to let them try things out, even when you don't like it. You know, and that's what I'm learning how to do. How are you and Scott doing as a couple? Is he going to marry you, ask you to marry him, or is he not going to ask you to marry him? Um, we've had talks about it. I think when all of this came about, everything was just at a standstill. OK, why would it be at a standstill? Candace is going to be in the picture, No matter period. what, right. Right, it, it I don't. It shouldn't matter. I know. It shouldn't matter. So why not set a date? Yeah. Is it because of you or him? I, I think it's the both of us. You have to say, I'm going to do it the right way. Right. Or else I'm not going to do it at all because the way you're living is not a good example for the Candace mm -hmm. because you're teaching her, don't do this, but yet you're doing right. this. Mm -hmm. Don't think that Candace isn't looking at this. She is. Because she is. You know what? I want to do the right thing in life. Then don't, don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. Then do it. Right. Maybe she's right. I have a example to set for my daughter. I want you to take stock in your life. I want you to be happy. OK? Whether you marry him, whether you don't marry him, that's going to be your decision. I love you. I love you, too. No, you don't love me yes, like I that. Yes, I do. I love you. Don't, don't be hugging me fake. No, let's, let's, let's do this right. Do you fake? You love me. Anyway, man, I'm <laughs> I love you, too. What you doing? I think it's time to have a conversation with Scott, a real heart to heart. You have a minute? So that I can know where we stand in our relationship. How does he feel? How do I feel? I was talking to my mother about our relationship 
And I'm trying to teach Candace how to live right. Okay? Right, okay. And not live in sin. But how can I teach that if... That's what we're doing? Yeah. I thought that too. But it's something to think about. But it you is know, a subject matter that we need to think about. Because we can't go about. on like this with trying to bring her up a certain way and then not living that life ourselves. I, I agree. Playing house, but not actually married. We've been through a lot. And, right. you know, and I just, with her pregnancy, with our relationship, with all the things we've been going through, I haven't given up. Honestly, I think Scott is going to hang in there and do the right thing. But I do not want to pressure Scott to marry me. I want it to come from his heart. Our relationship, we probably need to start thinking about where are we going. Yeah. You're a great mother. You've been so good to her. And I'm doing the best I can for her, too. I really care about you guys, OK? I'll tell you what. Let's go do something fun, someplace special or someplace you want to get out and go to, right? Anything I want? Well, within reason. I mean, I can fly us to Paris for dinner and an opera, but don't push it, all right? So, getting some rest right now? Yeah, relaxing while he's asleep. Yeah. Kind of came in here to apologize a little to you. It's been a long year, almost. Yeah. And I know it's it's been rough having me as a mom. Everything that you've gone through, I'm going to be going back to work pretty soon. Got to pay the bills. You got to eat. But you're going to be home. And now I don't want him thinking that this is a free pass for him to just come on in and have his way. Mom, you know, right now I need support, you know, instead of doubting me, because just being a 15-year-old with a baby is hard enough. And then when you feel like people aren't supporting you and letting you know that you can do it, then it's hard. It gets harder, because then you're fi you feel like you're in a corner by yourself. Well, I don't want you to feel like you're not being supported. That's the last thing. Your near future. What do you see, Candace? And I see myself trying to graduate from high school. OK, just school? Yeah, and the baby. And the baby? It's OK. Uh, Tell the truth. No, I'm Tell trying the to truth. Because I, what I sometimes think about is me going back to school and then you watching the baby. I see myself in the nursing program, the CNA program. And then okay. you're watching the baby for me for however long I'm gone raising him. OK. I will do whatever I have to do. Are you on birth control? No. Do you think that's grown up and no, smart and wise? No, that's not smart and wise Why? at all. Why? Because anything could happen. I don't plan on having sex. I don't plan on having another baby. I don't even plan on using the birth control. Do you think that's wise to say, well, I'm not going to have sex, so no need for birth control? And then there I am without Stuck. anything. I'm going to stand by what I believe in when I'm preaching abstinence because that's the best policy. I want you to be smart, and I want to be smart as your parent. And I feel like you need to take the birth control. Yeah, I'm counting on you, Candace. I know what it feels like to not be appreciated or not be given credit for what you're doing, because I've had to go through that, too, with my mom. And we're kind of seeing, for the first time, a little bit of where each other is coming from. And I think we're OK with it. We're finally appreciating each other in that way. Do you hate me for being hard on you? No. You sure? Yeah. All right, now give me a cookie. These turkey burgers are the best, guys. <laughs> Can we say a blessing for the food before yeah, yeah, yeah. we start? Okay, yeah. Okay, say it real quick. Okay, let's do it down. Dear Lord, we thank you for all the blessings that we are given with the food, 
with the friendship and with the families. Through all of this, I've learned that my mom protects me because she loves me. I do feel like I'm missing out on certain things about being a teenager, but I'm okay with that. So I have something better now. She's tough on me because I'm her girl. <laughs> Sometimes things have to happen for you to step back and say, you know what, I'm gonna let her be who she is. At the end of the day, I have a wonderful daughter and she's gonna make it. I have a great man, he's doing the best he can. And I have a good life, I am so blessed. I'm happy and I wouldn't change anything. No, he doesn't have Candace's nose. He doesn't have Candace's nose. Doesn't matter. Fact, he's, he's got my eyelashes like and nose. He doesn't look, look like, like yeah, him. He's got your eyebrows. I can't say that things are back to normal, but I will say that we're finding our way. Candace will be going back to school in the fall. We recently threw her a Sweet 16 birthday party and all her friends came. It was such a good time seeing her get back to being a kid again, just for a night. Dr. Roman. I have still not returned to work, but I am thinking of starting my own home decorating business so that I can have flexible hours and have more time for babysitting Roman. Having him lunch? As for Scott and I, we managed to squeeze in some time away together, and he's even hinted to me that he's looking at engagement rings. Who knows what'll happen next? All I can say is, bring it on. I'm ready for the next adventure. What I really want to say is Candace was a little bitch. She put me through hell. I wanted to kill her ass. And Scott, I wanted to kill him too. Because he'd be like, it's okay, but shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs>